Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to the Scooge Podcast. I'm your host, Screwly D, and per usual, I'm joined by my co-host, JMASH97. What's up, everybody? That's him. I didn't know if you were uh, waiting for me to say something or not. <laughs> I mean, usually if there's a pause longer than five minutes, I'd like you to say something. Five minutes, okay. I'll not. I'll <laughs> add that to my notes. I, I don't. I don't <clears> want <throat> you know, like ten minutes of dead air, but five minutes of dead air is just okay in my book. Uh, what's up, everybody? We're back. It's it's been a while. Uh, we're trying to get these out weekly. We're trying to make this a regular thing. There is a little announcement, a little update on Scooge. So, one of our cast members, uh, he keeps he, knocking me. He does not want to take a shower. Yeah, so make sure to keep up the hashtag Scooter Tube Take a Shower, Stinky Stinky. Uh, but to be frank, he he's in the he's in the backwoods right now, so his internet's not the best and. He probably won't be joining us until fall of 2020. So just fair warning, you're going to hear Joseph and I's beautiful voices for probably the next 50 episodes. <laughs> yeah. If this is to be a weekly thing, I mean, he probably will be joining us pretty pretty late into the the saga that is Scooge. But um, yeah, just a quick update. It's just going to be... Joseph and I uh, reviewing these movies or talking about movies for for a while now. We, ju we just want to let everybody know it's here. If you're like, wait a minute, there's there's three people on the on the uh, backdrop. It's just to let you know, Scooter Two will not be joining us for a while. But with all that out of the way, let's get right into this episode. So today we are reviewing the way way back. 2013 film um i'm not sure who is directed by it. i don't know all the logistics of it do you do you know the logistics of it i know you're a little bit more keen on that kind of stuff than i am uh, i believe it was written and directed by a couple of the actors in the movie hmm. uh hang on i'll look at their names while you're talking so yeah uh We've seen this movie before, way, way back. <laughs> See what I did there? Um, we saw this movie around the time it came out. Um, but now Joseph has recommended it again. And it was has been totally flushed away from my memory until he mentioned it again. So we rewatched it and we wanted to talk about it on this amazing, lovely podcast that we have going on here. So... Yeah, it Do you was wanna... written and directed by Jim Rash and Nat Faxon, who played Lewis and Roddy, who were two of the park employees. I don't employees. even remember the character's name. They were the like, two park employees. Okay. <laughs> you see them, you already recognize okay. them. Oh, okay. So the guy that's in the Adam Sandler movies? Huh? That guy that's always in like the Adam Sandler movies? No. The blonde hair guy. He's not in any Adam Sandler movie that I know of. Pretty sure he is. At least in Grown Ups or something. Um. But yeah, so. Oh, so it's like it's it's like uh, directed by the the guy who's always joking in the movie. It's directed by him and Lewis, who was a germaphobe. Germ oh, oh, huh. That's weird. It's quite he interesting. Was, I, he I wasn't in Grown Ups. I didn't. I thought you were talking about. Never mind. Uh, uh, you're probably uh, thinking about uh, Nick Swartzen. No, I'm not thinking about Nick Swartzen. Nobody thinks about know. Nick Swartzen, but. um. It's the only guy I can think of that even kinda very not really but 
that's the closest look-alike I can think of in Grown Ups. Well, hold up. How about you kind of give your summary of what you think about the movie right now? I'll, I'll be... Like summary of the plot, or...? Um, yeah, unless you just want to give your thoughts right now. I mean, basically the movie about it's a coming of age story about a kid who a shy uh reserved introverted kid who does very uh don't what's the word he's not confident at all so kind of the story of my life coming up he's an and, incel what i said he's an incel boy Yeah, I ain't gonna comment on that one. Uh, that just threw me off completely. Huh. Well, we hit about 10 seconds of dead air. <laughs> but you're just giving a basic synopsis of it yeah it's like your it's like your typical summer movie like coming of age story i um, wouldn't really go so far as to say typical summer movie and what would be the typical summer movie like I avengers do. i mean like, like summer about land. summer dummy okay if you want to do summer. that i'm not talking no, about no, summer i don't know if it did come out in summer and it came out in the summer, July fifth, twenty thirteen. This is—I would say this is far from a blockbuster. Yeah, when I think of summer movie, I think of blockbusters. Well, that's like when they come out, but I meant like summer set, like set in the summer. They're in—I'm uh, not sure. I'm not quite sure what location they are supposed to be at. I don't know if they said it in the movie or. Do you know? I mean, according to Wikipedia, it's a small seaside town near Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Oh, okay, Cape Cod. Just, I don't really remember that it's saying that, but. Yeah, it didn't really seem like. Massachusetts, but I mean, no, I, I guess was, that makes sense because like because in the movie something. they pointed out that uh, the the guy, the main character, is from Albany, so it makes sense. Yeah. Like they wouldn't like you know travel cross country if it was like Florida or something. So that yeah, that does that does that up. Um, what what? Uh, give give us some of your thoughts because I feel like you're a little bit more favorable of this movie than I am. Unless I you want to just it. get some negativity out of the way. I'm actually curious what you didn't like about it now. I mean, it's just like... I mean, this movie is just like bland. It's it's kind of like... It just plays it too safe. It's just like... I mean, it, it's fine for what it is, but it's not like amazingly shot. There's nothing like too interesting. There's not really any any characters you can like there's not really many likable characters in this if if at all for for me personally it's just like it's just like a fine movie like nothing's really done spectacularly and i i'm actually surprised that it has such high reviews on like rotten tomatoes and imdb metacritic you know they're all in the c to b category now i I, just, I felt like in a way this movie it, it, in the most literal sense, I, I feel like it's almost overrated than what it is. Wow. Um, I know you feel like it's a really underrated movie, and I think you mean yeah. maybe underseen movie because maybe not a lot of people have maybe heard of it or actually seen it, but in the sense of actual reviews, I feel like it's a little overrated. But if you mean overrated strictly as like in word of mouth... I'd say it's probably underrated because, like, I've never heard of this film until you first showed me way back. 
and um, yeah. Never heard this like on any list or anything. I was only familiar. Well, well, yeah, I, I was familiar with four actors, and watching again, I didn't realize the the mom from Hereditary is in this. Yeah, I literally just watched that movie last night too. Oh, really? Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean. I hate to be like the negative guy. I don't want to be the negative guy for every Scooch podcast. I doubt it would be like that because maybe the the movies I recommend that I've actually seen, I'll be a little more favorable to and less critical. I'm not, I'll still be critical. I, I I like to have my critical lens on when I review movies and not really think on a on a like on a on a big emotional impact. Um, which I think that is important for movies, how how it made you feel, but rather like the technicalities of it and such. I, I like the little details like that, and like um, camera shots and angles and things of that sort. But like, yeah, like this to me, this movie doesn't really do anything special or it doesn't really add anything new to the coming of age story. Uh, you know, you just have your typical shy kid yeah that's that's in a lot of things you know the jackass stepdad the you know the love interests i mean yeah i just don't think this movie really adds much to uh, to the formula albeit i haven't really I'm, i haven't really seen like many coming of age stories wait it isn't in isn't steve carell in that other uh like boyhood or something, or or, or am I thinking no. of a different actor? You're thinking of Ethan Hawke, maybe. Oh, Even though maybe. they don't look anything alike. They're both middle-aged white guys. <laughs> um, they look about the same. <laughs> uh, yeah. If you say so. This is wow. like my my kind of thoughts on the surface. Uh, you could. You could go ahead and put down, put down what you think about it. Oh man, that one, that, that hurt. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I love this bag of movie. Uh, I mean, you've already mentioned Steve Carell. I mean, oh boy. Cause I thought you actually liked this movie. I didn't know you I didn't felt that way about it. Um, but I mean, I loved it even more the second time because I've seen it two or three times. Uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of cliche moments in this movie. I'm not gonna pretend there's not the relationship mainly. Uh, I mean, Sam Rockwell definitely the standout uh, of this movie. <clears throat> got Tony Collette which as much as this movie was also was about Duncan the 14 year old or I think it was 14 14 15 something yeah, like that four, yeah 14 um as much of it, it was a story about him growing up it was also a story about his mom T Tony Collette's character I don't uh Pam I think was her her name uh it was about her being a better mom for Duncan from going till about like halfway through the movie she was smoking pot staying out late at night uh drinking partying all that kind of stuff just neglecting the kid um beating him up no nah, i don't know he, she never beat him up uh <laughs> just neglecting duncan <laughs> He shut up. Um, Duncan gets his fair share of black eyes in this film from his mom. Oh god. I mean, Sam Rockwell, Steve Carell, Tony Collette, Anna Sophia Rob. Who are the four that you recognize? Because there's a lot of. Um, the 
four that I recognize. Steve Carell, the hereditary mom. Tony Collette. Maya Rudolph. Um, I don't know who that is. Oh, uh, the okay. that's, that's a mom. Maya Rudolph and the the blonde guy. I forget his name, but you said was the co-director of this film. You didn't recognize Sam Rockwell or Anna Sophia Rob? Who, who are those people? Anna Sophia Rob, the girl from Bridge of Terabithia. Bridge of Terabithia. Oh, okay. And Soul Surfer. Yeah, I thought she looked kind of familiar. Yeah, and Sam Rockwell. Uh, you ever seen Green Mile? Oh, he was in Green Mile? Yeah, he was the... I can't remember the character's name. He was like the real... Well, I'm not say the real villain, but he was he was the prison inmate. Who was a little crazy. Who was a real... Uh, the real murderer of the two girls. Okay. That okay. John you... got... That John Coffey got... Just uh, like on... I, I, I guess I just didn't really recognize him. Um, I mean, yeah, you have like you have like people with, you know, like veterans. I wouldn't say well veterans, but you know, you've had you have uh, impotent, not impotent, but you know, people who have been in great movies. I, I don't know, like this one just doesn't feel on par with the, the movies water, these actors water. have uh, acted in. What are some coming of age stories that you actually have seen that you liked? I usually don't like that kind of movie. Which I also have another coming of age story that I, I will say is better than the way way back. I, I do believe. Wait till episode 100 for that recommendation, sir. Okay. <laughs> I am curious now <laughs> to think like what kind of... <laughs> We need, we need at least a hundred episode gap between each coming of age story. Uh, wow. Review. Yeah, I can only take so much. Um, I am curious now to see what uh, Darius recommends from time to time. But he, oh, he, he, Lord, he did say that he. This is like, cause, cause uh, Darius isn't really an average movie. No, no, he's not. Like that, so. Not at all. But he said this. He said. With, he said with this podcast, it would help him see a lot of movies. So he I'm hasn't even seen Godfather. Like... Yeah, he hasn't even seen Godfather. He refused um, to do Godfather three last episode. He didn't refuse. He was just like, uh, because I mean, I don't blame the guy. That's nine hours of content you have to watch. But um, I say watch it all at once. That's not ideal. <laughs> um, so I, I think I think I think that <laughs> I think that uh, he'll probably most likely recommend movies that he hasn't seen before, which I think it's a okay. I like that idea. Actually, what I want to go for, but since the theaters are down, which have you heard the AMC's are thinking about opening up in the middle of July? I believe it when I see it. But uh, the way of like the world, a this of, pandemic is going. Of seat, seating and stuff like that. So Joseph <laughs> tries to watch the next Marvel movie and they kick him out. Right, right. I'll go in there with a hazmat suit. I mean, no, it's, it's not. <laughs> it doesn't matter about that. It's just like a, you know, uh, <clears throat> a limited amount of head count that could be in there. But uh. What I initially wanted to do with this podcast before all hell broke loose is um, see something new from the theater, and then the second part of the podcast we do a, a suggested movie. So it'd be like we talk about the main meat and potatoes of the movie that just came out, and uh, like a secondary movie that someone wants the other two to see and talk about that, discuss it. But like I'll, right now we can't. What's up? I was just gonna say I will. I usually will. Not times. Ninety nine percent of the time I will recommend a movie that I haven't seen or I've. Because my next recommendation I won't say it right now. I'll save 
and for next week after no we do Noah's yeah, recommendations. Um but I've already told Noah that I watched a movie for this podcast. Uh and that's gonna be my next recommendation. I actually It'll forgot. Be that kind of- <laughs> I'm not I don't know what movie you're talking about. Wow. Yeah. I got a bird brain. I'll tell you after put the we we finish, but yeah. I I could probably check my DMs again and if you send them in there. Yeah, I'll send them, I'll send them uh, on Discord. Oh, you, you didn't say it on Discord? I did say it on Discord. No. Uh, let me let me dig up that archive. Ah, uh, oh yeah, the movie Up. Yeah. <laughs> What were we talking about? I don't even remember the, the way, way back. Uh, we should call this uh, the Bird Brain Podcast. Yeah, especially with you. Yeah, what, what were we talking about? What? What's this? Where are we? I mean, I'm just looking at my nose right now. Uh, See, this guy, this guy's an amateur. He has notes. I'm going off the cuff with this one. I have notes for like to hit the points that I want to talk he, about. He has an entire Spielberg script written out. Totally. Yeah. Hey, he's going verbatim all, off all the All on one, all on one paper. It's so freaking small I can't even read it. He he even wrote in the pauses just so the dialogue seems more natural. He wrote, uh... <laughs> <and> freaking stupid. <laughs> freaking stupid. You, know, you, gotta, you gotta get that realistic dialogue. Um... Why is this movie called The Way Way Back, by the way? Honestly, I didn't think about this until I looked it up. Um, And now looking at it, it kind of makes sense. On at the very end, when they're leaving the beach house, Uh because like I told, like I was talking about earlier, the whole movie is as much as it's about Duncan it's also about the mom becoming a better mom putting her child first because she never really did do throughout the movie until the very end right when she climbed to the way way back of the car that's a I feel like that's kind of a stretch that's what I saw online that's what I I didn't come up with it, so I mean, was it Reddit, Joseph? Was it Reddit? No, I don't. I, I hardly go on Reddit. <clears throat> but I mean, there's on on that note that I saw. Uh, like, I didn't notice this the first time I watched it, but I noticed it uh, watching it in the prep- preparation for this podcast. If you go back okay. and look at the what. So the title refers to the way back seat, the 1970s colloquial expression for the third often hidden seat located in the cargo section of a station wagon. Wait, what? It says here on IMDb trivia, the title refers to the way back seat, the 1970s colloquial expression for the third often middle seat of a um, station wagon. Mm. But I mean, it's not. I mean, I I I get it because the the mom kind of joins Duncan side, but this movie is not about station wagons. That's what you got from can, that. Can can you can you think of a better movie title than the way way back? As catchy as it is, as epic as it sounds. That's what you took from that. I said I get it because she joined side with him and it, it's a uh, it's a uh, and she's actually going to put him first and leave this Steve Carell's character. Why would you leave Steve Carell for Duncan? Oh dear lord. You Duncan's no. a 3. Wow. Steve's like a <laughs> 7. Oh, um, wow. Wow. Well, can you think of a 
Can you think of, of a more appropriate movie title for this movie? Oh, man. I mean, it's fine. It's a fine title. I don't it's see that big fine, of a problem. But we're looking for great. Oh, boy. I'm curious to see if you could come up with a better movie title. You're putting me on the spot with this kind of crap. I I would call it I Steve really Carell's don't even know Big what... Adventure. I was about to say I really don't even want to know what you would call it, but okay. <laughs> Steve Carell's Big Adventure. It's not about Steve Carell's character, Noah. <laughs> Isn't he the main You're character? You're missing. And you're missing the whole flipping point of the movie. I think this movie should have been called Trent is Cool. Oh, dear Lord. I will say I agreed with him as far as the Candyland thing goes. What do you mean? If you don't remember when they were playing Candyland because it was storming out and they I couldn't do, go anywhere. I do, but I don't know what context you're talking about with the green. We're playing by the rules. Okay. Yeah. I mean, with a Joseph is an avid Candyland player. Okay, if you if you bend the rules, he'll flip that switch, and you don't want to see him come out of Candyland. <laughs> He's ranked number three worldwide. In That's what you, oh my god! I love how you take what I say and just <laughs> oh dear lord. I've been playing Candyland and. Three days. Years. <laughs> Jeez. So you're saying you take Trent's side in that particular scene? As far as a simple game as Candyland to have some kind of challenge, and not really as a challenge, but by the look of the card draw, that, uh, that I understand. So you were furious at the mom in that scene. Not really. Not your, really. Your, your fists were clenched. Your your face was red. <sighs> grinding teeth. Okay, I'll play this little game. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm still waiting for the the movie title. I don't. You're still on about that. What crap. is the idea? What is the ideal movie title for this movie? The way, way back. back. The way back. With Ben Affleck? Yeah. Ben Affleck should have been in this movie. Dear Lord, no. Like a Ben Affleck, Matt Damon movie. Matt Damon plays Duncan. <laughs> uh, okay. Ben Affleck plays, uh, I forget his name. Trent. From the Green Mile. No. Oh, freaking, uh... <laughs> Sam Rockwell's ben character. Affleck's... Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, Sam Rockwell. Ben Affleck shows Matt Damon the way. <laughs> now that, I would actually buy a movie ticket to see. They have that. It's called Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> Robin Williams plays, uh... Trent. Trent. <laughs> yeah. Because did then I in Goodwill Hunting uh uh he said uh I forgot the main character's name. But he's like Matt Damon, you're three. Will Yeah, Will. <laughs> oh yeah, that's his that's, that's his, his name. name. <laughs> Will Wow. Will Hunting. Okay, when Robin Williams says Will Hunting, he's like, Will, you're three. And Will goes ballistic, starts yelling at him. I don't remember that happening. Was that a deleted scene? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Jeez. That was an alternate take. Um. But yeah, this this is indeed a movie. It was filmed on a camera. <clears throat> That's all I can say about it. This is a movie. <laughs> you know what? I'm mics. already. 
I'm already regretting doing this podcast with you. It I has hope, mics, it has a camera, it has I'm lighting. <laughs> do, do, do you think this movie had like any any external lighting? That's a that's a good topic to talk about. Cause you have sunny days. You have campfires during night. You have nat not natural, but you know, indoor lighting. Do you think do you think any any scene was like shot with lights like other Hollywood production? I don't I don't know. Well, I'll we'll skip that topic for now. Um, I can't remember one saying that look like it. It all yeah. looked like natural. And I and I I kind of commend it for that, you know. I like to see shots that you would normally see with your eye without, you know, like production lighting and and things like that. Because a lot of movies, it's just like, oh, let's get a lot of lighting on this so it uh the the, the chroma king is easier to have all this CG and background and stuff, you know? So that that is one plus I give this movie. It's uh it's very grounded. I don't even care about my notes anymore. <laughs> what does your notes say? Come on. I mean, I don't even remember what you interrupted me for, but I was going to say something about there was a subtle look uh, that Tony Collette uh, gave to Steve Carell at the water park when he when she found out that he, he called her son a three. Because she was sleeping Wait. when that conversation was happening in the beginning of the movie. Right. And plane just flew by. I don't on remember her finding out. Life. Yeah, she found out when at the end when Duncan had gone back to the park, left the left that station wagon, when they were filling up uh -huh. on gas, he went to the right. um the water park, passed uh -huh. Owen on the slide, came back yeah. down, and uh -huh. Owen raised his hand, first person to raise first person to pass Owen on the water slide, all that kind of stuff. Uh, uh -huh. I do recall that scene as I and saw then when it, like, when Duncan ago. introduced Owen to his mom, Trent came up. Yes, and Owen um, talked about how he's good friends with the three. With the three, okay. So do you remember he, he that is. He is confirming the fact that Duncan is an actual three. Oh my god. Why else would he call him to three? That's why he Dunk if, that's what Duncan told I him know, what Trent says. I know what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, I know I know Trent called Duncan to three. And Duncan relayed Sarah that Rockwell message. Is reinstating the fact that Duncan is oh an god. actual three. It's sark. Uh, I really see here's the thing. I've known you so freaking long. I don't know when you're joking just to get a reaction or being dead pan serious. Okay, I hear you laughing, so and I know you're just joking. So sh freaking stop, you Sam Rockwell <laughs> is confirming the fact Duncan's a three. I was outraged at this point. I'm like, who am I rooting for in this movie? Everyone thinks Duncan's a three. Yeah, so do you. <laughs> Sheesh. I'm coming at a critical standpoint, okay? I am justified in my rating of Duncan. And if I'm to be real, I'd give him a one, actually. Um, you just like Trent. <laughs> I feel so. I'm gonna feel sorry for your kids. <laughs> you're a one, son. You're a one. As a one. You're number one in my heart. Yeah, not a good, not safe. But you, daughter, you're number Jeez. 10 in my heart. Work harder. Um, God, don't matter. So, yeah, then we get a happy ending of Steve Carell 
moving on with his life with a different woman. Which, that is the assumption. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, this this movie had some touching moments. It's it's just it's just overall cliche and doesn't really bring anything new to the table, in my humble opinion. Now, Joseph and I, we we kind of have we have some, you know, we have like some standards. We have different standards, I think, for movies. I, I think on a lot of things we have like the same standards. It depends opinions, on but... what movie you're talking about, what genre. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna get like contrast out the ass on this podcast. So Joseph's like the cha chaotic evil of the podcast. Whoa, the... whoa, 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 uh, whoa. -uh, no. You, you're, no. You're, you're like the wrong opinion of the, you're like the, uh. No, you ain't gonna do that crap, no. You're like the black sheep of the podcast. It's not the first I've been called that. I ain't, it's not gonna be the last. <laughs> Joseph's code name for the podcast is the the wrong opinion. <laughs> It's not the first like time I've, the, been, I've been told I have one, so. And in, in the description, it only shows my score of the movie. It doesn't show just. Yeah, you'll have to wait um, to find out mine. Now, now I'm like, like us talking about movies and like our, you know, our <clears throat> clashing opinions. I, I'm curious to see if, if Darius is gonna have like a strong opinion about something or be like passive about it and kind of like agree with our points or something or just, or just be like you, you know it's if it's, it's, chill. it's if it's something he doesn't really care about he'll be a lot more relaxed if it's something that he's passionate about he'll be a lot more aggressive yeah yeah, I know, but... I'm or he'll just, troll one. Saying. Yeah, maybe that. Yeah, Darius um, is the troll. He's gonna I, be the I, troll. I feel like I'm kind of trolling right now. That's what you always do, though. No, because when we... When, you, I mean, you, you, you already know my recommendation for the podcast, but when no, I recommend no. my movie, I think... I think we'll have a lot more interesting discussion. Not saying this movie is downright terrible. Oh, so you close. you put more you put more passion into my, your suggestion than you do in my suggestions. Okay. Well, to okay. be frank, this okay. Uh, and, I see and, how this and an objective going. sense, uh -huh. this next the next movie is more interesting to talk about. To talk about. If you say so. Is that fair to say? If you say so. Um. I mean, what? I mean, it's fine if you like this movie. I'm just saying, what's so interesting about it? Like, what, what does it bring to the table that... <clears throat> you know? Does it off, offer any sort of uniqueness? So this is, I mean, this feels like... And, and it's kind of weird because it has some very adult tones to it, but it feels like a Disney movie. Or like a, a Disney XD live action exclusive and then but you know there's like i swear anything that's it. anything that's not dark and gloomy you think is a disney movie no i don't yes you do i think that uh hmm it's not, it's not dark and gloomy my point exactly i mean there's cartoons that are not disney that are, are bright and colorful I'm just saying, I, I think, I think it is, it's not outright wrong to say this has some Disney live action vibes to it. Like a, like a movie you'd see on Disney XD, but there's like, you know, they, they talk about rape a little bit and you're like, whoa, what Disney movie am I watching? Do you say so? 
I, I don't but, uh, see how it's a, even close to be a Disney movie, but okay. I mean, I'm not saying it's like outright feels like a Disney movie, but there's just like there's a certain tone to it at some points. It's like okay, I'd probably see that on if I flipped, if I had a cable box and I flipped over to the Disney XD channel. Does that make you sense? Can, you can say that about any coming of age story. My point exactly. So let's space them out every hundred episodes. Boyhood. Perks of being a wallflower. I haven't seen that. You have I seen don't Boyhood. Want to see boyhood. I have not seen Boyhood. We. I freaking showed you Boyhood. No, you did not. Yeah, dude. You dreamt that. I have not seen Boyhood. I did not. Okay. I have seen the perks of being a wallflower, but I have not seen Boyhood. No perks of being a wallflower was what I was going to suggest. What I was talking about suggesting earlier. You son of a. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, not the one I sent right? you on Discord, but the one I was talking about before that. Uh, that I think that that movie's better than this one. I think it's certainly more mature, oh, mature in its themes. Yeah, that's what I said. I you think say, Perks of Being a Wallflower was yeah. better than way, way back. I never taught, I never named yeah, so it. So we don't, we don't have to do an episode on it now. We've already talked it out. We did. Oh my god, no. Um, um stay on. Well, I, I think this is a good breaking point. Uh, here is a word from our sponsors. Are you looking or have the drive to create your very own podcast? Does it seem like a tedious task or just a dream you have to work your way up through the ranks just to get to? Well, look no further. Thankfully, there is Anchor. Anchor is a totally free site and application that will get your podcast going from the ground up. There's plenty of creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more platforms. Also, you can make money from your podcast with minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. Make sure to download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. <clears throat> all right, and we are back. Uh to the way way back you feel me who <laughs> we like to have fun on this podcast that 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 ad was actually oh, this, a bit late. we're already podcast. 40 minutes in and i'm kind of like lost on what to talk about i, I think we've, we've already kind of this one podcast is a, is, a, is a train wreck not really I, I feel like this one's more structured than the godfather 3 well that's because you forgot to hit record the first time no, I, I was just uh, laughing about Sofia Coppola for 37 minutes. Um, oh no, I remember. But yeah, I feel like I feel like we have more legitimate discussion in this one. Sure. So, uh, how's your day going, Joseph? Well, it just started, but <laughs> you know. Did you have some waffles? For yeah, waffles? totally. No pancakes. Oh, you had pancakes? You're not a waffle. No man? waffles. What's the difference? Oh, well, you have a. There's a big difference in the texture. There's no difference. And... Yes, there is. That's like saying there's no difference between brioche bread and and uh. Like whole wheat bread. There is no difference. Yeah, there is. No, there's not. There's different textures, a different taste. There's no difference. Bread is All bread. All that goes into account. Bread is bread. There's different types of bread, different bread techniques. Bread. bread is bread. Different recipes. Different recipes, even for bread. Bread is not just bread. They all taste the same. They do not all taste the same. Yeah, they do. Joseph, Joseph has a freaking cow tongue, dude. <laughs> he thinks everything tastes the same. I swear, I got, I gotta, I gotta start trying to troll eventually. 
Okay, welcome back to the Bird Brain and Cow Tongue podcast. <laughs> Today I'm joined with Cow Tongue. Troll one and troll two. It, we we have Bird Brain, Cow Tongue, and Stinky. <laughs> three amigos. <laughs> wow, that nickname's gonna stick. I, I don't think I'll ever call Darius by Darius or Scooter Two on the podcast. I think I'll always be always be Stinky. <laughs> What do you think about Stinky? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if like episode 200 he finally snaps and just like goes off on us. Probably. Hangs up. Yeah. Probably just quit all <laughs> I wonder together. if he'll ever get to that point honestly. Or he'll just quit all together. Yeah, I think, I think around episode 5 Joseph will do that to me. What? Just like either go off the hinges or just like hang up quit forever <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna say yes or no <laughs> I am not confirming nor denying that fact episode 5 <laughs> mark my words folks episode 5 Joseph's gonna quit <laughs> yeah, that should be, that should be your title him cause every other movie is a coming of age movie this is like my first suggestion that's it <laughs> jeez <laughs> You're already, talking about, you're already talking about perks of being a wallflower boyhood. I wasn't saying doing that next week. I already <laughs> freaking told you what I would, I would even I would even argue in a sense the Jungle go. Book is a coming of that age story. That is not a coming of age story. Yes, it it's is. Not, it's not even Jungle Book. Do, we, do you want me to say my It's Mowgli. It has the same characters. Just because it has the same characters doesn't mean it's a daggum. Oh my god. Yeah, it is. It has like the same plot. It has the same characters. It doesn't matter about tonal shifts. Uh, um, it's not the same. I'm telling you, you have not seen it. I don't need to see it. I'm it's telling weird. you, no, it is not the same. <laughs> All right, but uh, I think I think now uh, is a good time to get into the into the uh, climax of this movie. I'm joking. I, I think I think it's about time maybe we gave our scores. You think so? Or can can you squeeze, can you milk anything else out of this movie? I don't, I don't even know anymore. I mean, what, what, I mean, you, you, you're very... I think he praised this movie a lot. I'm, I'm just interested to see what really stands out to you, or is it just like a feeling, like maybe you have a bit of nostalgia you feel when you watch it's not it? Not really or... nostalgia, but it, it just I relate to Duncan. There's some like aspects. Of, movie. There are some aspects that I relate to him. Like you being a three, or wow, you just you just called me a three. Okay. <laughs> Just let's work that way up to a to four by Shut up. Like <laughs> wow. I think that's achievable. <laughs> yeah, I'm um, uh, screw episode five. I'm about to hang up right now. <laughs> wow. Well, this was the second and last episode of the Screws <laughs> Podcast. It's been a fun ride. <sighs> but ultimately we have to we have to wrap it up, you know? So all good things come to an end. All things, period. I guess I would. I, I don't know if you'd call this objectively you, good. Thank you for Anchor for sponsoring this podcast. <laughs> um. But yeah, I, I think I think now is a is a good time to to get into the scoring bit of this segment. Our scoring segment. I, I think that's like totally unique to our podcast and reviews, you know, at the very end, give your score. I think that's like a totally new concept. Yeah. No one's ever done that before. Yeah. I think, I think we're the pioneers of like actually scoring the movie at the end, you know? Totally. Uh, so do give us credit for that. Uh, do praise us in the comments for that. Like, wow, that's actually really innovative guys. Thanks. You want to go first or me? Overall, I really do like this movie. Uh, I, I'll give it a ninety percent. 
Ninety percent. Wow. Yes. Even it, it increased this the last time I watched it. No, I'm, I'm interested. Like, what? What is ninety percent? What? What is giving you that score? What? Hang what on, in particular? Hang on, is hang, it on just... hang on, hang on, Noah. Hang on, something's. My audio levels are through the roof. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What? Uh, on, me, I mean, hang on, I'm restarting my recording process. I mean, you probably don't even need to record your side. <coughs> yeah, it's showing up still on the that. Well, it's fine. Well, we um. I I'm, I'm I'm interested though though but like you know I get maybe a relatability factor but I mean, there's gotta be more to it than that. What does it do that uh blows your socks off? You know, because the ninety percent is like saying, "Oh, this movie wowed me," you know. I mean, I just think it's well, it's good, pretty well written. It, the acting, for the most part, is. I know people like eat pretty much all of the characters. Like, I just related to it. Okay, that's fair enough. I guess it's maybe <clears throat> two out of five. It's nothing special, but if you're into that kind of coming of age story, it does its job, you know? This this movie's just kind of straight down the line. It doesn't really do anything uh really impressive or it really adds anything new to the formula. Um it's just kind of, you know, just straight down the line. So, the official rating is an OJ. OJ my book. I think that, that, you know, that kind of wraps this episode a nicely packed gift. Do you, do you have any closing words? Would you would you like to uh, shout out anything you got going on, coming up? Uh, Go check out my YouTube channel, jmash97. Uh, I got, I mean, I've already announced letting the... Not really announced, but talked about it in the last uh, podcast. I got a couple of videos ranking Pixar movies, uh, top 50 superhero movies, top 250 movies of all time coming out next year. Uh, yes, way, way back is going to be on that list. Um, I got uh, a couple of videos playing with Noah coming soon going to be on my channel I'll, I won't announce them right now but yeah go check out my channel jmash27 on youtube follow me on twitter jmash27 facebook jmash27 all that kind of stuff you and I'm sure no will put the links in the description below for those nope okay fair enough <laughs> you sell out I'm, just, I'm joking uh, totally. check out my channel Screwly D, I make stuff, live stream with Joseph here from time to time. We like to have a good time. Check us out. Um, yeah, thanks for watching today's episode. We'll see you next week. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I do have my movie suggestion. We will be talking about Uncut Gems in the next movie. So check out next Friday. Tune in for the Uncut Gems episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.